Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute teddy bear with nothing else but a single crochet stitch. You'll be needing 100 grams of yarn for each color, which are optional, a crochet hook that goes along with the yarn's thickness, and some crochet tools like a darning needle, stitch marker, and a pair of scissors. Before we get started, I'm going to briefly explain the pattern. R stands for round, SC means single crochet, these abbreviations right here stand for increase, decrease, we'll get to them later. As for this X, it indicates how many times you should repeat the same pattern in the same round, and this X is for the whole number of stitches you should have by the end of each round. I just doubled my yarn to give it some volume. Now to start with a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your two fingers and form an X. Now insert the hook under the first strand and pull the other one. Yarn over and pull it through the loop. Now I'm gonna make six single crochets inside this ring. To close the ring, pull this hanging strand of yarn, just like this, and we're done with the first round. For the second round, I'm gonna make two single crochets in each stitch, so here's the first one, which must be marked by a stitch marker, you can go with any marker that you have just like this one. Just put it right here and now I'm gonna make the second stitch in the same place to make an increase. Then in the next stitch make two single crochets. Here's one and here's the second one. One and two and so on. By the end of the second round, you should have 12 stitches. To start the third round, make one single crochet and mark it. And the pattern is one single crochet, then an increase in the next stitch. So I already made one single crochet, here's the increase. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing all around. For round four, I'm gonna make two single crochets separated, then an increase in the next stitch. So the pattern is two single crochets, then an increase, and repeat it all around till the end of the round. To start the third round, make one single crochet and don't forget to mark it. The pattern for this round is three single crochets separated then an increase. So I already made one, here's the second, the third and here's the increase. Do the same till the end. I think you can now guess the pattern. Four single crochets, then an increase in the next stitch. Repeat the same pattern till the end. 
This is the last round with increases. Make 5 single crochets, then an increase at the next stitch, till the end. We've so far made 7 rounds with some increases to make it grow bigger, but to end up with a ball, we're just gonna make 1 single crochet in each stitch for 7 rounds. I'm gonna start this round, but I guess you guys can keep up on your own. As you can see, it's starting to take shape. I'm gonna make sure I have all the rounds I need. To start round 15, make one single crochet and mark it with a stitch marker and add four more single crochets to end up with five single crochets separated. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and now make a decrease. Insert your hook in the front loops of the two stitches. Here's the front loop and here's the back loop. So the front two loops. Yarn over and pull it through the loops. Yarn over once more, pull it through the loop. You just have to repeat the same pattern all around. Following the same pattern, make 4 single crochets, then a decrease all around. You guess it right, 3 single crochets, then a decrease. Two single crochets followed by a decrease all around. Now before I start this round, I'm gonna fill my bowl with some polyfill stuff in. I'm gonna make one single crochet followed by a decrease all around. For round 20, make a decrease all around. By the end, make a slip stitch, chain one and fasten off, but try to leave a quite long tail, we're gonna need it later. By using a needle, we're gonna close the hole, you just have to insert the needle in all the front loops, you can go with 2x2 two two stitches like I did. in the end and fasten off. For the sake of time saving, I already started the body following the same pattern that we used for the head. So first I made a magic ring in which I made 6 single crochets 
then two single crochets in each stitch, then one single crochet increase, two single crochets increase, till the round with five single crochets, then an increase. Now I'm gonna make six single crochets, then an increase. For round 9, we're just gonna make one single crochet in each stitch for 4 rounds. When you finish the 4 rounds, make sure you have 12 rounds. Now insert your hook in the first stitch. Bring the second color and pull it through the stitch, just like this. Yarn over and pull it through the loop. Now you can fasten off the gray yarn. You can also make a knot to secure the work. I just made a double knot. And now keep on making one single crochet in each stitch till the end. But first of all, don't forget to mark the first stitch as I obviously did. For round 14, make six single crochets then a decrease all around. Now one single crochet in each stitch. For this round make five single crochets then a decrease all around. Now one single crochet in each stitch. Now rather than making four single crochets then a decrease, I'm just gonna make three single crochets then a decrease to hurry up a bit. One single crochet in each stitch. Two single crochets, then a decrease. One single crochet in each stitch. Now make a slip stitch, chain one and fasten off. Live in a long tail to sew the body to the head. Fill in with some polyfill stuffing. For the arms, it's exactly the same pattern we've done so far. A magic ring with six single crochets, then two single crochets in each stitch for the second round, then one single crochet followed by an increase for the third round. But now we're gonna stop increasing and I'm just gonna make one single crochet in each stitch. For round 5, I'm gonna make one single crochet, then a decrease in each stitch all around. Now 
Now bring the other color and make one single crochet in each stitch for 9 rounds. Now make a slip stitch, chain 1 and fasten off. And make sure you add some stuffing before closing the hole. In order to close the hole, you just have to join the back loops of all the stitches. Now we just have to repeat the same steps once more to make the second arm. It's always the same pattern, a magic ring with 6 single crochets, then 2 single crochets in every stitch, then 1 single crochet followed by an increase. Now I'm just gonna take off the stitch marker, I'm gonna bring the next color. And for round 4, I'm gonna make 2 single crochets followed by an increase. I'm gonna repeat the same pattern all around. Now make 3 single crochets, then an increase all around. For round 6, make 4 single crochet, then an increase all around. For round 7, I'm gonna make 1 single crochet in each stitch all around for 2 rounds. Now we gotta start decreasing, so I'm gonna make 3 single crochets, then a decrease all around. Make 2 single crochets, then a decrease all around. Now you have to make 1 single crochet in each stitch for 2 rounds. Now make 1 single crochet, then a decrease all around. Don't worry, we're almost there, you just have to make one single crochet for 5 rounds. At the end, make a slip stitch, chain 1 and fasten off. Then fill it with some stuffing and close the hole just like we did for the arms. For the ears, I'm just gonna tell you the pattern because we've already made the same thing. So start with a magic ring with six single crochets inside, then two single crochets in each stitch then one single crochet followed by an increase and make one single crochet for three rounds. End of 
eventually close the hole by joining the back loops of these stitches. For the muzzle, start with a magic ring, then make two single crochets in each stitch, one single crochet increase, then make one single crochet for two rounds. Before you start sewing, make sure you find the right place for every piece. And honestly guys, I'm not a big fan of sewing, so I'm just gonna let you watch and follow along with me. For the eyebrows and eyelashes, I use this thread, you can double it if you want to have some volume, and I followed the same method I used for the nose. At the end, you can cut one thread to make this little cute eyelash. This is how 
how you can join the legs to the body and you can apply the same thing to the arms.